Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crown. Today, we'll be reacting to Beastars Episode 7. Now, the last episode was such a crazy episode. So, we finally left the school. It was the boys in the drama club that were kind of working behind the scenes, like working with the lights and the cameras and stuff, and like the backgrounds. They all got together. They left the, well, the carnivores got together. And then they left the school and they were pretty much just walking down the streets and eventually they were told not to go here but they ended up stumbling into the dark market which is basically the b stars world version of like the black market where all the carnivores would come together and they'd go there to buy meat products and eat meat since normally in society you can't eat meat like even at the school legacy his lunch was mostly like eggs I think he had like a egg sandwich or something, but they can't have meat. Like they can't just sit at the table with a giant steak or else all the other like herbivore kids would be terrified. So they can't eat meat and this is the only way to get meat. Now Legacy, he doesn't like the idea of eating meat. He tries his best to avoid it. And he thought that he was somewhat of an oddball because all the other carnivores were kind of like there was this uh, goat dude that was selling his fingers for carnivores to eat and so uh bill was actually like give me that i want that right now like man this is a steal whereas legacy was like uh, i don't know and he kind of felt weird because everybody was kind of hype to get some meat and he didn't really want any so he ended up running through the market and he bumped into this panda guy that took him and apparently the panda was a psychotherapist basically what he did was he worked with carnivores that were pretty much i believe either obsessed with meat or they didn't quite understand their relationship with herbivores in the sense that he said there were other people that said that they were in love with this herbivore and it turns out that really psychologically they wanted to eat them and that's what attracted them to that herbivore and so he helped them understand that and he thinks that legacy might be going through the same thing now i don't think so i think that legacy might be a special case where he just genuinely likes horror and he doesn't like subconsciously want to eat her but there's only one way to find out I mean the panda guy he gave legacy the magazine so we're gonna see what the heck he does with it and if he's actually going to show us that maybe there is some part of him that wants to eat her I mean of course there is there's the like beast inside of him that wants to eat her of course but now we're about to find out if legacy truly at his core wants to eat her so with that being said if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice shonen content make sure to check out the cloud crowd discord link will be in the description and also consider supporting me and my channel through patreon for as low as two dollars but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode all right, so this is the part of the episode where you guys will be grabbing your source videos. If you do not have one of your own, I will have one linked in the description. It will be the first link that you see. So all that you have to do is click that link, bring up the video, and get ready to start it when I say go. Because we'll be starting this in... All right. Three, two, one, go. Are we good? All right. All right, so it seems like they're in the middle of one of their lectures. Lego. Oh, she's a girl. Wait, is she? Because I'm confused. She's a girl, but she looks like a rooster. And I thought roosters were only male. What's that secret? Here we go, egg sandwiches. They're always better on Wednesdays. My boy Jack is back.
What? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, is she some kind of weird stalker? Oh, okay. That's fair. I thought she, like, planted those eggs there because she was excited to see that he was eating them. Like, that's so... <laughs> that'd be so weird. Oh, she's serious about this. She doesn't want to take any chances. And why do these chicken girls look like roosters? I don't know, or maybe it's just been a long time since I've seen a chicken. I don't know. Legom. Dang, she is really training out here. She's trying to get her body into the best possible shape that she can. To help with egg laying. All right, that was an interesting character we got to know there. Oh, we're not eating eggs today. What's going on? Wait, what is, is she okay? Is she gonna fall over? She's actually gonna faint. Dude, what is even going on? Oh no, she's lost a loyal customer. Oh no. Oh, okay. So they just moved it to another day. <laughs> Her purpose in life is back. Is it Friday? Why did she say it so happily? <laughs> Man, is this just gonna be a filler episode? Like, what is even going on? <laughs> We're delving into the story about this chicken who's proudly laying eggs. And she's, uh, she's proud to supply the school with her eggs that she's worked so hard to perfect. Man. <laughs> That's so weird. I really want to see more of, uh, Juno, though. Juno! Haru would be cool getting to see Louie again. It's been like a whole episode, so we need to get back to the cast. And I mean, I'm always down to see more Jack, too. Jack is like the ultimate bro. Man, I love this opening. I never realized the water, too, from that water fountain made through this stop motion. It looks so cool. Like, oh, man, I wonder how they did it. All right. <clears throat> oh, another thing I forgot to mention is that at the end of last episode, I mentioned that Legacy felt like he was kind of... I don't know, an oddball because he didn't want to eat meat. But then he bumped into, um, oh, is it Aoba or Aoba? 
And he also didn't want to eat meat, so now I'm sure he doesn't feel so alone. R. <gasps> oh, again. Even when they first met. Why was she so scared? Oh, dang. I'd be horrified too if I saw that. He shed his horns. That looks brutal. He looks kind of badass, not gonna lie. Oh, and I think we know where this is going. <laughs> Dang, she's kind of savage. And this is when it started. Hmm. So that's how those two got to know each other. The Meteorite Festival. Alright, so are these the fake horns or did his real ones grow back by now? Not gonna lie, I mean... <sighs> oh, snap! What? I was just about to mention Legacy! <laughs> oh, snap! Oh, snap! <laughs> oh no, she's nervous.
Wait, can she hear this? Oh, snap. Snap, is Louis jealous? Oh, no. Oh, he smells something on him. He smells that rabbit. <laughs> Q Juno. Dang. Who are you to tell him who he should be with? Man, I feel like there's very few people that have this same dilemma that Legacy has. Ugh. Still gotta find the answer to that. Juno! <laughs> She's back! I gotta crank it up now. A carnivore dinosaur. She's so wholesome, dude. Hmm. I'm sure she likes him. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Let go see. Okay. Man, she's freaking starstruck right now. Dude, what a lady killer. <laughs> wow. And he probably doesn't even realize how she's feeling right now. Oh, man. Oh, she's realizing that he doesn't feel the same. Or she's realizing just how dense he is. <laughs> oh, poor Juno. A little legacy. Oh! 
Oh no! <laughs> oh, you found it. That's why he's so worried. I like the little drawing above his bed. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, that's the worst thing that could have happened. Dang, man, this is so deep. And these visuals. Oh, I don't know. Because I'm sure if you found out about Louie and Haru, then he'd be heartbroken. For sure. Oh, snap. You're working hard out here. See, right now he's trying to forget about it, but I feel like he's going to have like a rude awakening that's going to force him to acknowledge his feeling. And here it might be. Yeah. I think she's kind of starting to catch feelings for him, too. I I think she she likes the danger. It's kind of like he's a bad boy to her. She likes the danger of being around such a like big intimidating dude not one second Oh, snap. I feel like something's about to go on. <gasps> oh, snap. Here it is. Oh, no. Yep, the rude awakening is here, dude. It smacked him right in the face. And now he's forced to acknowledge his feelings. He smelled a rabbit on her. He knew it. He knew it from the start. Legacy. What are you going to do? Oh, man. These words again. Oh, snap. <gasps> oh. And the beast is taking over. You can see it in his eyes, dude. Oh, man. Why did that have to end right there, dude? I just want to sit down and binge this series. It's so freaking good. Man. 
You can see it in his eyes, man. Dude, that ending was huge, man. I knew it. He was gonna get a rude awakening where he would have to, he would be forced to acknowledge his feelings for her and he had to decide just what they were. And now he knows that he's in love with her. But that being said, he just saw Louie and Haru together. So now I feel like that jealousy has kind of lured in the beast inside of him to take over. And now I feel like he's going to have a score to settle with Louie. Things are, oh man, things are going to, oh man, this is so crazy. This is so crazy. You could literally see it in his face that he's completely turned over to the dark side. Legacy, oh man. This is so nuts. This is so nuts. I'm at a loss for words, man. But anyways, I am super, super excited for this next episode. And I definitely enjoyed this one. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description. And also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to head out and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.